Have you been diagnosed of a UTI and have you beaten yourself, asked yourself questions about what you did wrong to make you get a UTI? Don't worry. Today on the TDJ show, we are going to talk about UTI, everything about UTI. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Don't forget to comment, to subscribe and to follow. UTI is actually the short term or the acronym for urinary tract infection. Now, what is a urinary tract infection? It is a symptomatic presence of microorganisms in your urinary tract. Now, big English, let's break it down. So, if you have an inflammation or an infection of your urinary tract and you are manifesting the symptoms, we are saying that you are symptomatic. So, sometimes somebody can have the infection but not showing symptoms or can have microorganisms in the urinary tract so I may not be showing the symptoms but when you are having the symptoms that pushes you to come and see us we say you have a UTI now it's a broad you know term because it covers all the urinary tract system now the urinary tract is made up of your kidneys the ureters the bladder and the urethra now that this system is what produces urine so the kidney will filter your blood and then it goes through this process and then we make your urine so any infection of any parts of the system gives you a uti so if you have an infection of just the urethra you have urethritis if it is of the bladder you have cystitis if it is of the kidney and the urethra you have pyelonephritis yes. so some of them have the same manifestation but there are bits of differences that will make us see whether you have pyelonephritis or a cystitis or a urethritis now how common is a uti it is very common and about 50 to 40 percent of women may have experienced uti in their lives and some have it even repeatedly some relapse some have recurrence and things like that now let's bring it let's categorize it so when it comes to babies or infants usually especially in the first six months of life the, the male babies are more prone due to certain conditions that, um, like the PUV and others don't want to go there, but male babies are more prone to UTIs than the females. Now, as we grow and we mature, females are more prone. For a man or a male to get you, they usually say about 0 0.0. 0.4%. But women, we are at risk of getting UTI, but as we grow in age, become elderly, then we see men getting UTI due to certain um, changes that may happen due to prostate diseases and things like that. So why the changes? Why the differences? Now, let's take the women. Women, what makes us get UTI? It's because of our anatomy. So for us, our urethra from the bladder is very short. It's about four centimeters. For the men, you see, you see how long the penis is here. Yeah, urethra is very long. Because of that, it is easy for infection from our genital area to move up, you know, quickly, easily, and move up and cause an infection. Another thing is when you take um, contraceptives, it puts you at risk. Pregnancy, the weight of the baby and the hormonal changes also puts you at risk. So when you see most pregnant women battle with UTI, don't worry, it's not your fault. It's the anatomy and then the hormonal changes. Now, let's leave this and go to the causes of um, UTI. I'll marry it with why we are having, you know, this variety and then the changes of UTI. So for you to have the UTI, you the human being, you would be there and then the microorganism will be there. So for a woman, sex, and, and the, okay, it's for adults, your sexual habits, because the vulva and is very close to the urethra, our sexual habits usually predispose us. For the men, as we know, the penis is very long, so it's, it's, it's different for them. For us, it's very short and it's very close. So our sexual habits puts us at risk of getting you know using our hygiene so how we clean the place whether we are cleaning from front to back or back to front puts us as risk. so for every woman you should clean from front to back because if you do back to front you are bringing bacteria forward from your anus forward and then you will put you at risk of um, you see, you know, use of washroom and all that so our hygiene and sexual habits are one of the major ways we can get it but then we are at risk like i said earlier because of our anatomy and things like that. now when you are, you are immunocompromised that is your immune system is low maybe you have hiv or you have diabetes or other things that brings your immune system down it puts you away because anybody who is immunocompromised easily gets disease when you have diseases 
of your urinary tract system. It makes you easy, like renal stones and abnormality of your system. You, it puts you at risk of getting it. If you hold urine too much, then you allow the bacteria to stay there and colonize the area and gives you um, the infection. If you don't drink a lot of water, all these things put us at risk. And then how virulent the organism too is. So some of the organisms are very virulent, they are very bad. And then with all these things, we end up getting urinary tract infection. And then for the, for the elderly, usually their immune system goes down. For the men, when they grow, because they start getting diseases of the prostate and things like that, that's what makes them predispose the men. So you realize the men start having UTI after 45, 50 years of age because of issues with the prostate. As for the elderly, as they, so when we have the elderly people, it's both men and women. And for the elderly, usually they wouldn't show symptoms, especially for the when they come to the hospital, we investigate, then we know that they have a UTI. So now how do you know you have a UTI and um, so you realize that when you go and use the washroom you have a bit of pain or discomfort or you are urinating more than usual you wake up at night to urinate sometimes you cannot even hold your urine this is true for the urethritis and the cystitis but then for the cystitis that's inflammation of the bladder you realize that sometimes you can even see blood in your urine now as it moves up to pyelonephritis to involve your kidneys you'll be having fever you've been having chills your tummy may hurt you feel very very sick but then you may have the other symptoms like pain or urination urinating frequently and as such now how does it spread so i've spoken about how your hygiene so that is an ascending infection you're getting the infection from up down you can also have infection from your blood because if you have sepsis an infection of the blood it can go to your kidney and then that way it can spread for you to get a pyelonephritis which is also a form of uti we have a spread through our lymphatic system and we have direct spread let's say you have um a disease of your uterine, um, your uterine region, in a female, you have a disease called a PID. So PID involves your tubes and then your um, your womb because it is very close to your bladder and others. The, the infection can spread directly to involve it. So so these are various ways you can get the UTI, but the commonness is the ascending infection when the where the infection comes from down up due to like I said your hygiene and then your sexual activities. So what do you do when you have a UTI? When you have a UTI, you go to your doctor. You tell your doctor about the symptoms. The doctor will ask you several questions so that they can distinguish between um, the parts of the, the tract where the infection is coming from. The doctor will examine you. And after the examination, we'll make you do a series of tests. Most importantly, we may do a urine test. We may culture the urine to get the exact organism that is causing this infection. Now, based on um, your presentation, you may do some blood work. You may do a scan. You may do other things because the doctor may want to rule out certain diseases or certain underlying factors. Now, after confirming you have a UTI, usually it's easy to treat. It's because it is most of the time a bacteria will give you antibiotics and then the duration will depend on a lot of um, factors. And also your culture will determine the right antibiotics that should be given to you. Now, what do you do in order to prevent UTIs from happening? One, check your sexual habits. You should be very clean, make sure you wash down, before and sometimes to after if you can help it and then you hide how you clean how you take care of your panties how you use your washroom they're all very important don't hold your urine if you have any disease make sure you treat it like kidney stones and things like make sure you treat it if you have comorbidities that brings your immunity down like um, diabetes and HIV make sure you take your medication so that your immunity is intact make sure you drink a lot of water don't hold you and drink cranberry juice a lot because it acidifies your urine it makes it you know difficult for you to get the infection and actually helps you clear the infection because it makes the urine a bit more acidic don't forget to see your doctor when you have these symptoms you get treated and then abide by what we've spoken about and UTI will be a thing of the past thank you very much don't forget to comment to subscribe and follow thank you